John here guys and today we're having a very special edition of drone economics as we close out the year and now in the drone economics series I often go over um, sort of mishaps faux pas issues or other problems that companies are having out in the market so that we can all learn from what's going on learn from their mistakes learn from their mishaps but today this is a very different type of video because today we're going to learn from something that someone has done that is good not just good but great now i have featured team black sheep on the drone economics series before but i wanted to highlight something particularly good that i saw out in the community and just let everybody know that what they're doing is special what they're doing is unique and that this is the way to conduct business this is the way to take market share this is the way to support the community and in that support they will support you and your business and allow you to flourish and i was on the facebook groups um, this week and saw that a new pilot was lamenting the issues that he was having with an Ishin product i believe it was a wizard and just out of nowhere, and this tells you how closely and how involved he is with the community, Raphael Perker, who of course we all know better as Trappy, the CEO and head of Team Black Sheep, took time out of his day to respond. Now I wanna highlight his response here and read it carefully because in these instances, especially bigger, better known, um, people that have great reputations in the community like Team Black Sheep can take opportunities like this just to kind of, you know crap all over companies like banggood or GearBest. they're easy targets because they take a long time for shipping they don't always have the best service now in my experience the service has actually been pretty good but he didn't do that and i think the reason he didn't do that um, primarily wasn't so much that he thinks that they're okay or great but it's because he didn't want to make this new pilot feel bad for their decision on what to buy and he says here first of all sorry about the issue you're having i think there is a bad place to share your discontent with a site that we have decided is damaging our industry just the discussion of it isn't doing anyone any favors and nobody here can help you resolve the issue just to be clear the presence or absence of similar issues is relevant the fact that people are buying there is the problem secondly a question if i may why did you decide to get the 220x i'm not trying to put you down at all simply trying to understand the decision behind purchasing a product that you appear to know is substandard despite similarly priced offerings being available from reputable sources this is something that i'm interested in as it would help tbs and other legit companies to figure out where our shortcomings are now that may seem direct and to the point but i think it's actually quite nice quite kind that he took the time to figure this out now this was something this he didn't go to a banggood area this was a user posting their frustrations about another company in the team black sheep facebook and so again trappy took the time out of his day to ask the question why did you decide to go that route um, instead of some of the products that they're offering now i want to highlight products that they're offering like the source one frame this is the open source um, frame that you can buy from team black sheep there is the source one which is more of a freestyle frame which goes for 26.95 basically matching the prices that you can buy frames for from those companies um, so for as for basically the same price you can buy into the team black sheep ecosystem you can have a reputable brand name quality controlled developed designed shipped product and now you're a part of that family you're a part of that ecosystem and uh and so they're doing that not to make money. I don't think they're making any money off of that frame. They're doing that to engage in those new users who have a budget. We all understand that, you know, we generally don't fly the top dollar stuff. I know I didn't during my first build. So they're genuinely trying to engage those customers. And because of him taking the time to write that response, he's really showing us all that he's willing to talk to individuals at the ground level coming into the hobby and understand what offerings they can give. And I wanna highlight two bundles that Team Black Sheep offers. They offer a Source One bundle that's $200 that comes with everything you need to build a freestyle rig. And there is the Source Two bundle, which is more of a racing style frame that they have for even less, $179.95 outstanding um 
And you know, the reason why they probably have these offerings is because of community engagement like this. You know, if you want to learn how to successfully run a company, you can't just be sitting in your ivory tower. And I sort of joked in another video that if you mention Trappy's name three times, suddenly he will appear. And that was, you know, a little bit of a joke, but let's highlight the good part of that he is engaged in the community he knows what's going on he monitors the trends and that's how you be successful guys note this not just an fpv but anybody who decides to go into business later i fully fully believe that the young people in this hobby today are going to be our community leaders tomorrow they're going to be our business leaders tomorrow so learn from not just the negatives but the positives this is outstanding community engagement this is why we have those amazing you know offering of bundles from team black sheep where you can get in get quality products you'll have support from the ceo himself where else in any tech industry can you have that type of engagement and they're actually quite agile they come up with these offerings quite quickly and so i didn't have a chance to read the rest of that thread and all the responses it doesn't matter what matters is you know this type of engagement is what leads them to come out with those bundles that and so people just need to know about it they need to know that those exist and they need to know that this is absolutely a great way to conduct yourself in the business market. So kudos to Trappy, kudos to Team Black Sheep. They're really coming out with some awesome offerings to let people get quality products from the get-go. So let everybody know that these exist. You know, I don't think, I didn't even realize that the bundles were around until I started digging deep. I knew the frames existed. But this is great for the same price as one of those um, Ishin things. You can build your own kit and get quality materials. You know, everybody knows Team Black Sheep from the you know fantastic VTXs like the Unifies. But if you want to step it up, get the whole bundle. If you're recommending to a new pilot, a new friend, someone else that can join the hobby, this is a great option for them. And take note, as you become a future um, entrepreneur, start your own business, always stay engaged with the community. That's why they're at the top of the game because they do listen to trends, they do listen to what's going on, and they do engage. So kudos to you guys. Thanks, guys.